Nikon has sent me a challenge to capture surprising angles of some of Europe's popular tourist destinations. I am looking deeper to explore what lies beneath some of the landmarks we've come to see in travel shots. We are in uh, Westminster, London, uh, beneath a passage underneath the Westminster Bridge where you get quite a unique view onto Big Ben. So my current setup right now is the D7500 and the 16 to 80 uh, millimeter VR. It's the ultimate walkabout lens because it goes from wide to zoom, is very fast at f2.8 at 16, goes only up to four when you have to go to 80 millimeters so you don't lose that much of light. So we are at the St. Pancras station or the Renaissance Hotel just behind us right now. So again, if you are a landscape travel photographer and you're looking to get as much of the frame in as possible without needing to shoot panoramas or anything like this, this is perfect. And it's the 10 to 24 millimeter. A very light, like most of the DX lenses from Nikon, very, very portable. Also a very decent f-stop, 3.5. So behind this village of Bakor in the uh, region of Granada, I'm trying to shoot this um, specific houses, they call them caves. So I'm on the 80 to 300 lens because it gives me the, the option to zoom in, zoom out. From 18 to 300, you know, you've got something which goes wide, but also something which goes telephoto. So if you were to shoot for something which is very, very far, you've got that focal length on you. So it gives you a very good range to work with. There's many options with Nikon lenses. I've been using Nikon lenses for many, many years, and I know they are one of the best. <laughs> 